Game development consists of multiple different subjects, and trying to learn all of them while learning Unity can become a little overwhelming. And because of that, we at Unity have created a whole website that is full of tutorials at unity3d.com forward slash learn if you learn best by watching videos or reading tutorials. And you can also find a link to that website in the description box of this video. And we have also released a number of free projects that you can download and experiment with. But everyone is trying to learn different things and comes to game development with different skills and areas where they need help. So to help you out, we have gathered five assets from the Unity Asset Store created by Unity developers that can help you with what you haven't had time to learn yet. So in this video, we're going to take a look at these five assets and see how you get started with them and how they can help you in your game development journey. One great place to get started is by taking a look at Unity's Game Kit projects. If you're not familiar with them already, we have a 2D game kit that allows you to experiment with 2D platformer gameplay and comes with art, scripts, animations, and more for completely free. And we also have a 3D game kit, which is similar to the 2D game kit and also uses the same alien planet and lead character, Alan. The 3D game kit includes 3D models, environment assets, scripts, and several mechanics that are fundamental for 3D games for you to experiment with and learn from. Both of these kits can be downloaded for free on the Unity Asset Store, and we actually have a link to each of them in the description box of this video. The first asset we're going to check out today allows you to make games in Unity without writing text-based code. This is a powerful visual scripting solution called Playmaker, created by Hutong Games. With Playmaker, you can quickly make gameplay prototypes, AI behaviors, cutscenes, and more. If you're not familiar with visual scripting, it's basically a method of coding without actually writing text-based code. So you add these nodes into the editor, which can then be connected to other nodes, and that way you code a sequence of events and conditions without actually writing the code itself. The tool is especially useful if you're entering Unity as an artist and don't know how to code. However, you can still use Playmaker even if you're a programmer, and most importantly, Playmaker is not just for beginners, it has also been used for shipping large and popular and professional titles as well. Like for instance, you can write your own custom actions which then appear in the Unity editor, and other developers from our community have also created multiple other assets such as game kits which are built with Playmaker and are all available on the asset store too. And moving on to number two, we are looking at Enviro, which is a dynamic sky and weather solution for Unity made by Hendrik Haupt. If you're creating a game in which you either want a dynamic time of day feature or add different weather functions like rain and snow, or perhaps even both, Enviro can be very handy. You can simply drag and drop the Enviro Sky prefab into your scenes in Unity and you've got yourself a fully functional time of day system. You can also disable and enable certain features as if you actually want the time to pass or if you want it to be constantly day in your game or just night. You can also assign different types of weather you wish to have and let Enviro change between different seasons dynamically. Enviro also has a volumetric cloud system which will bring your sky to life and offer plenty of options to customize. To ensure you have full control over the performance of your game, Enviro also has an option for fast clouds. And now, moving on to number three, we have an asset called Third Person Controller created by Opsive. The name of this asset describes it pretty well, but it goes deeper than that. This is an excellent framework for any third person game because it features a character and a camera controller as well as a combat system, inventory management, and much more. If you're an artist or even a programmer but you lack the time to work on an advanced third person controller for your game, this asset can be very useful. Additionally, this asset also enables the option for you to create your character and items very quickly. You can also add new animations with the unique ability system or use the included 300 mechanic animations. To get started, you can either just drag and drop the pre-made controller into your scene and use the following model, or substitute your own humanoid model to act as the player. And from there, the asset helps you with adding new animations and more. You also get built-in support for keyboard and mouse setup, and also for controller. And now, let's move on to the fourth asset of today, where we're going to take a look at a collection of stylized shaders and tools called Toonie Colors Pro 2. This pack is created by John Marino, 
or JMO, and is mainly targeting developers making a cartoon or stylized kind of game. It includes a unified material inspector which selects the correct shader based on your settings, and it also has a shader generator tool to help you create your own custom shaders with different features. This asset pack also has support for desktop and mobile platforms, includes a water template, and even more. Since Tunicolor Pro 2 is mainly a collection of shaders and tools, using it is fairly simple too. The shaders can be assigned to your materials in Unity as usual by simply going to that material you want to assign the shader to and then pick the shader in the dropdown. We can also go to Tools and then go into Tunicolors Pro 2 where we can select which tool we want to utilize from the asset. And last but not least, the fifth asset we'll cover in this video is called Easy Save. This is an asset created by Moodkai which allows you to add the feature of saving progress into your game. This asset it can be useful for both beginners and for intermediate developers. For beginners, it's quick and easy to get started with and add a saving and loading functionality to your game, whereas for more intermediate developers, it's feature-rich and flexible. Some of the features include support for most platforms, including PC, Mac, iOS, and Android, and there's also fast and lightweight serialization, which means that saving and loading progress will not cause huge drops in FPS or frames per second in your game. It also comes with support for Playmaker and has secure save data with encryption to prevent players from opening and editing their save files. You can start saving variables and components by using a single function of the main script that comes with this asset. So those were five great assets for beginners in Unity. And we're actually going to link all of the assets we mentioned in this video in the description box down below. We hope you found this video helpful for finding new assets in Unity and we look forward to see you in our next video.